What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another episode brought to you by the League FFB. Today, we are going to be talking about my top 10 waiver wire pickups as we head into week 11 of the fantasy football season. As always, if this is your first time at the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit that like button if you find something that you like in today's video. But without wasting any more time, let's hop right into today's video and let's start talking about these waiver wire pickups. All right, so before we get into my top 10 guys today, I want to talk about some double check players that should be available in some leagues. They are above 50% roster ship percentage, but they are all under 70%. So there's a chance they're available on your waiver wire. Some of these guys are going to be Tank Bigsby, Juwan Jennings, Romeo Dobbs, Alexander Madison, Jerry Judy, Quinton Johnson, Matthew Stafford, Ricky Pearsall, Mike Gesicki, Jalen Warren, Geno Smith, Hunter Henry, and Taysom Hill. So like I said, they may be available on your waiver wire, but it's worth double checking just to make sure none of these guys are available. But now getting into my top 10 guys, all of these guys are going to be under 50% roster ship, so they should be available in over half of the leagues that you play in. The first player I want to talk about is going to be Russell Wilson of the Pittsburgh Steelers. So if you need a quarterback, you need to go find somebody on the waiver wire. Russell Wilson is rostered currently in only 20 29% of leagues. Now, he threw three touchdowns in this matchup against Washington. He didn't have a ton of yardage. It was under 200, but Russell Wilson has been on fire since becoming the starter for the Pittsburgh Steelers. This offense looks really good. It looks like he's unlocked George Pickens in this offense as well. I think Russell Wilson, he is a low-end QB1, a high-end QB2. Pretty much the rest of the way, he's passed his bye week at this point too, so if you pick him up, you don't got to worry about a late bye. I think Russell Wilson is definitely one of the top quarterbacks, and it's kind of crazy to me that after the performances that he's been giving us over the the last couple of weeks he's still only rostered in about 29 percent of leagues so make sure you go pick up russell wilson now moving on to my next guy that i want to talk about i want to talk about trey benson of the arizona cardinals now he is a guy who we have kind of deemed as a handcuff that had high upside through the majority of the season he's kind of just been a stash but it looks like right now trey benson is starting to get worked into this offense just a little bit more each and every week this last week he had 12 touches against the jets he got 87 total yards in that matchup i think it's only a matter of time until he keeps getting worked into this offense. James Conner, he has never played a season where he has been fully healthy. So I think Trey Benson is still a high value stash at this point with maybe even some flex appeal right now in your leagues. If you're in a deeper league, maybe a 12 team with 10 starters or whatever it may be. If you have a league where you can flex him, I think he has some flexibility right now. And this is still definitely a high value handcuff. Now let's move on to the next guy that I want to talk about. I want to talk about Audric Estime of the Denver Broncos, currently only rostered in about seven percent of leagues so you can probably go get him everywhere he's going to be talked about a lot this week and the reason why is because he saw the majority of the touches for the Denver Broncos in their backfield last week 14 total touches Javante Williams really not involved in the game Jaleel McLaughlin really not involved in the game it looked like Audric Estime took over the backfield now this is a very small sample size there's a chance that this is a one-hit wonder maybe just there last week against the Chiefs but Audric Estime is somebody that I'm going to be going and picking up because if he gets the starting nod in this backfield for the majority of the rest of the season, I think he's going to have definitely some flex appeal in your leagues, but maybe even up to some running back two appeal depending on the league. So Audric Estime, he's a guy that I think definitely needs to be looked at on waivers. He is massively available across the majority of leagues right now. So Audric Estime, definitely a player that I am picking up in my league here this week. Now let's go to a wide receiver. I want to talk about Adonai Mitchell of the Indianapolis Colts. He is only rostered in about 17% of leagues right now. You see he went six for six for 71 yards last week. This is because Michael Pittman Jr. was out of the lineup. Now if Michael Pittman Jr. continues to sit out of the lineup, who has been dealing with a back injury for the majority of the season, he has talked about maybe even potentially getting put on IR. So there's really a lot of question marks with Michael Pittman Jr.'s health. Adonai Mitchell was a very talented rookie. He was drafted very highly. I had him very high in my rookie rankings when we were doing our dynasty draft process. Now that being said, Adonai Mitchell, he's a player that I'm picking up. I think he can be a very valuable threat for Joe Flacco downfield. And I think there's an argument that he could be one of the most talented wide receivers in this offense along side Josh Downs. So Adonai Mitchell, Josh Downs, they all benefit from Joe Flacco being under center instead of Anthony Richardson. Adonai Mitchell without Michael Pittman Jr. on the football field is definitely a player that should be picked up and put on your benches and maybe you can even flex him here this upcoming week. Now let's talk a little bit about Gus Edwards because Gus Edwards spent some time on IR earlier in the season. We know that he came over with Greg Roman with J.K. Dobbins to be a one-two punch in this backfield and as soon as he got back on the football field he was one of those one-two punches for the Chargers. So it is unfortunate for J.K. Dobbins. J.K. Dobbins does not look like he is going to be the bell cow if Gus Edwards keeps getting this type 
type work. 10 touches for 55 yards. He very much looks like he is a guy who is going to be the 1B in this offense, and that is a valuable piece to put on the back end of your roster. Obviously, J.K. Dobbins doesn't have the cleanest bill of health over the course of his career, so Gus Edwards could be a guy who has some value long term. He's also going to be spelled in, and this is an offense that wants to run the football a little bit, so let's make sure that we pick up Gus Edwards in our leagues here this week, even if we're just stashing him on the back end of our bench. Now, moving on over to a running back that is available in just almost half of your leagues, that threshold of under 50%. He comes in at about 45%, so he is available some places. Tajay Spears, he's the guy that we're going to be talking about. He got 10 touches for 51 yards. Tony Pollard has been banged up over the last couple of weeks. He keeps playing through these injuries, and Tajay Spears was banged up as well, but it looked like in this one for a period of time, Tony Pollard went out of the game. He ended up coming back in. Tajay Spears, to me, just because he's dipped below that 50% threshold, he's a player that I think we need to pick up. The Titans are past their bye week. They have an okay schedule the rest of the way as far as running back schedule goes, and Tajay Spears, he's a high-value handcuff to Tony Pollard, so if Tony Pollard does re-injure himself or just keep getting banged up and it gets to a point where he has to miss a game or two, Tajay Spears would be a guy that you could instantly plug into your lineup. So because he's under that 50%, make sure if he's available in your league, you go pick him up and you handcuff Tony Pollard or just pick up somebody else's handcuff in the chance that Tony Pollard does get hurt and you get a free starter on your fantasy football team. Now moving on to another player who's fallen below that 50% threshold, we're going to talk about Christian Watson. And I think he fell below because of the bye week. So people did drop him through the bye week just to make sure that they had some roster space. But now he's available in over 55% of your league. So I would make sure that we can go get Christian Watson. I know that this Green Bay Packers offense has been a little bit confusing at times. It's been a little bit inconsistent. It's tough to know which Green Bay wide receiver is going to boom which week. Some weeks it's Jaden Reed. Some weeks it's Romeo Dobbs. Some weeks it's Christian Watson. And some weeks it's Dontavion Wicks. It is a pain in the ass, but... Christian Watson is definitely the X wide receiver who is going to be playing on the outside for Jordan Love, and he is worked deep downfield and in the red zone. So if you're looking for a high upside guy that you can pick up and play into your flex spot through bye weeks that are coming up here in weeks 11, 12, 13, 14, you got all of these bye weeks that are still going to happen. You need to make sure that Christian Watson is on your pickup list because I think he has some of the most upside if you're going to be playing him in the flex, a boom bust type of guy. But I would be looking for Christian Watson on my waiver wires and picking him up if he is available in my leagues. Now let's go to another wide receiver that is also boom bust, maybe a guy who works deep downfield and in a new place with Russell Wilson here for the Pittsburgh Steelers. We're talking about Mike Williams. He only had one reception for 32 yards and a touchdown in this game. Obviously, he was very new into this offense. He's going to be worked in even more. The Steelers, they've been looking for a number two wide receiver for a while now. We've heard them in rumors for Devontae Adams. We've heard him in rumors for Brandon Ayuk. They ended up getting Mike Williams. Not necessarily the same type of wide receiver as those two guys that we mentioned before, but Mike Williams, he's going to be used as a deep threat in this offense. It seems like Russell Wilson is targeting downfield quite often. We've seen George Pickens benefit from it, and we even saw Mike Williams benefit from it in this game. If you're looking for a guy, maybe some upside, plug on your bench, see what happens as his role continues to increase here in Pittsburgh. Mike Williams isn't a bad pickup. Just don't burn the waiver wire priority on Mike Williams. Or don't spend a ton of fab on Mike Williams, but he's still rostered in only 20% of leagues, so you can take a shot on him in pretty much almost all of your fantasy football leagues. Now, another guy that I'm not going to burn my priority on, I'm not going to spend a ton of fab on it is going to be cam Akers. now cam Akers, he's back with the minnesota vikings obviously they made a trade a couple weeks ago he looks like now he is the handcuff to aaron jones and it is no longer ty chandler so cam Akers, he's kind of just taken over that role got 14 touches last week aaron jones got a little bit banged up it doesn't seem like he's going to miss any time but cam Akers is the clear handcuff to aaron jones the vikings are past the bye so if aaron jones misses time in the future if he does get re-injured if anything were to happen cam Akers would be the guy so if you have aaron jones make sure you pick up cam Akers, and if you don't, maybe you pick up Cam Akers as a speculative ad. Maybe if something happens and Aaron Jones cannot go this week just because he's a little bit banged up. I don't foresee it happening, but you know, at this point in the season, we're taking shots where we can get him. Cam Akers is one of those shots I'm taking, and he's only rostered in 20% of leagues, so he's widely available. And now the last and final player we're going to pick up, it is going to be Dawson Knox of the Buffalo Bills. Now, I had to put a tight end in this video. Dawson Knox is the guy that I'd like to talk about. He's only rostered in 4% of leagues, and Dalton Kincaid got injured in this game, did not play in the remainder of the game after that injury so Dawson Knox if Kincaid cannot go this week would be the starter the reason why I put him on this video is because he does have a very good matchup uh, this week so I would be picking him up and playing him Kansas City has given up quite a few points to the tight end position we know that there should be a lot of points there should be a lot of fireworks so if you need a tight end stream Dawson Knox is probably your guy and he's available in over 90 percent of leagues so you can pretty much get him everywhere you need him all right so there you have it that is my top 10 pickups as we head into week 11 of the fantasy football season as always 
If you enjoyed the content, make sure you hit the like button. If you're new to the channel, you want more videos like this each and every week, rankings, all of that good stuff, live streams, everything you need, make sure you hit the subscribe button and make sure you go join our free Discord. We do have a free Discord linked in the description. And like I said, it's free to join, so there is no risk in doing that. But with all of that out of the way, I have nothing else for you guys today. I will see you on our next video. But until then, peace out.